Hello, it's Kayla and I did a thing. I painted my bench top today. I had this beautiful green bench top and I did it white. So I used the Rust-Oleum countertop top transformation kit. So if you'd like to know how I did it, keep watching. Now the first step I had to do was thoroughly clean the bench top. So you had to do it with um, soap and water to make sure everything gets off. Um, and you really, really do have to wash it really, really well to get everything off or otherwise you'll have it on your bench top forever. And be careful with stains and things because I learned the hard way that they do show through. So make sure you do clean it really, really well. Then I've had to sand the whole bench top. Um, and I did it really quickly according to the video. Um, the other one I actually had to do twice because I didn't actually push hard enough for what I thought would work well. So make sure you do do it really well the first time and try and push really hard on the sandpaper um, to get it all through. Now this does all come in the kit, the sand sanding block because it's a diamond grade kit, I think they call it. Um, so I did the whole bench top with the magic of video editing. I finished the whole thing and then you have to make sure that you wipe up all the dust and make sure you wear a dust mask too because it does go everywhere and breathing in green dust probably isn't the best for you. <laughs> so I don't have a little vacuum cleaner which they do recommend as well so I just had to use a brush and shovel um, and I did go through thoroughly quite a few times with the brush and shovel. Um, and then I just wiped it down with a um, damp cloth um, and you can see here that it does actually pick up a lot um, So just make sure you do it do it thoroughly and I think because my bench top was green It was even more scary <laughs> to see when all the dust came out that it was bright green It was quite petrifying and I don't think you'd be wanting to find green in your brain <laughs> from breathing it in um, Then you had to tape all the sides obviously just to make sure that I've my Sides of my bench top are wood so I obviously didn't want paint on them um, so tape them all up and this is a terrible job and it's awful and taping around the tap and the sink is really time consuming. So I'm just showing you what is in the kit. So this is part A of the kit, the paint. So I just poured it in and I have a brush and a little roller that I use. So I just brush all around the countertop countertop, and around the tap and the sink and everything. So everywhere the roller can't reach. Um, my recommendation and I with the second coat I did this I didn't actually do the brush around the edges of the bench um, because I didn't need to because I could just roll her over them so that would have been saved a bit of time so the paint itself is really thick and you can see there I actually got on the bench so I've just quickly wiped it away and it was all fine it hasn't stayed or anything like that and I think you have a bit of time so just use a damp cloth if that, if that happens to you um, so yeah, the paint's really thick, so it's quite effective. So it's really cool to watch this back and see how quickly it works. Um, and I shouldn't say quickly because this does take a really, really long time. So even though I've got this video down to about 10 minutes, it took hours and hours to do. So make sure you do it um, when you have a bit of time. A weekend's good. But I did actually do this after work, um, two nights after work, so you can fit it in. Um, then what you have to do is just roll the roller towards you um, after you've painted all to get rid of any streaks and lines. Um, so do try to do this because it does dry and you don't want any lines in your bench top. So yay, I finished. Now this is two hours after. So you have to wait two hours for the first coat to dry and then you do your second coat. Do what you want in the two hours. Um, I had to bake a carrot cake. So I obviously couldn't use my bench top. So I went to my parents' house and baked a carrot cake. Let me know what you do in your two hours. So same process again, um, just trim around with a 50 mil brush around all your edges. Did you see the sneaky cat walk through? Anyway, so trim around all your edges for the second time and be really, really careful because any patches you miss do show up and will be there forever. Um, so I'm just rollering my second coat now and it is harder with the second coat because you can't necessarily see where you've been before because obviously it's the same colour. But then do go back, <laughs> I'm quite happy that I finished, <laughs> and roll towards your body again. So this is the second day, I got a new roller, a new tray um, and it's a different foam sponge and I'm just showing you different bits you need. Make sure you do wear gloves, I didn't wear gloves at one stage and the sticky stuff got stuck stuck to my hands and got stuck for a long time. So you just have to pour, pour mixture A into mixture B and be really, really careful because it is chemicals. And it's a really glittery kind of mixture. So just be aware of what it's going to look like. 
then we just have to do the same thing and just trim around the edges again um, go around all the edges again I didn't do the edge of the bench just around the appliances and in the little corner you can't see but there's a little PowerPoint so I did around there as well um, so yeah just be really careful and I didn't put too much in this tray but it did go quite a long way and just make sure with the glitter because there are, is quite a lot of glitter that you do spread it out evenly um, and you can't really go back and do it again I did that in one section of the bench I went back because I thought I'd missed a bit and it ended up worse because it has more glitter in it than the rest so it would be better if I had less glitter than now I've got about double the glitter so you just use the roller again and this is your thick hardening coat so this is what you want to do really well you can't miss any of the white because the white will chip um, so you didn't really see but in between um, the first white layer and this top coat you have to redo your tape take it all off and then redo it and while I was doing that um, I was chipping some of the paint so just be really careful I'm just gonna go around with white art and just um, fix any little spots but you know it's not ideal so just be really careful where you spread the glitter on this one as well and that you don't miss any little bits I did notice um, when I waited a day in overnight one of the stains that was on my bench tops came through even though I'd done really some soapy water so I'd make I just use soap and water but I'd probably use even stronger chemicals um, to try and get it, bring any stains out and clean them out because now I've got a orange, yellowish stain in my white bench top yay I finished hey <laughs> So this is a couple of hours, four hours later, I think it was when it was dry and very late at night, but I was really excited to do it. And you can't leave it longer than a couple of uh, four hours, I think. So it recommends taking off the tape with a knife, but I found just ripping it off worked just as well. So I have a knife in my hands, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to rip it off and it's going to go fine. So this is the exciting bit because you can't really tell what it looks like when it has blue tape all around it. There we go, so my kitchen's finally getting there, yay. So now the speed will pick up a bit and I'll be magnificently fast at ripping this all off. Until it gets stuck on you and you do a tape dance. <laughs> I hope you like the bench top white instead of green. I really like it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it is really, really hardy. It hasn't chipped off or anything. I can't tell you how it'll go for years time, um, but I really don't see any problems with it. Um, I mean, go into it not expecting it to be a perfect brand new bench top um, because you might get little errors and things in it, but it's a pretty good make do if you're wanting something to last you a couple of years and you're not wanting to pay a few thousand dollars for a new bench top. So just go into it with the right attitude and you should love it like I do. After you finish it, and there's the finishing shot. So after you finish it, just leave it for two days. Two days before you use it light chopping, and then a week before you use it fully. So I really like it, and I hope you liked this DIY. Thanks!